Hey friends, Anna here. I wanted to quickly show you how you go about folding your explosion book for what's the theme. So what I did was I printed this double-sided, okay? After it's printed double-sided, what you next, the next thing you have to do is you need to cut it out into a square. So here's my square. As you can see, it's double-sided and here's my square. The first thing we need to do is to do our fold in order to get it to fold properly. So the best way to do that is to look at this side of your explosion book. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hot dog fold like this. So a simple hot dog fold, nice and tight, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same hot dog fold but the opposite way. So we make those really tight folds like when you wanted to fold something and then, and then rip it apart. This helps making a really nice tight fold. So we folded it right down the center both ways, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna fold it on this center line. So I'm gonna make another hot dog fold. So hot dog fold this way, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna do it the opposite way, nice and tight. So this allows you to make really nice tight folds so it's easy to fold into an explosion buck. Now, the next thing you need to do is we need to make it into a triangle. We need to fold it into a triangle. But when we're folding it into a triangle, it's important not to fold this part where it says what's the theme. That's the title. We don't want to fold this part into a triangle. We want this one to fold into a triangle and this quadrant. So these two quadrants to fold into a triangle. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, if I do this, I'm folding this one. So we don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go this way, and if you notice, let me do it like this. If you notice, I'm not folding this quadrant, I'm folding this quadrant and this quadrant. So I'm gonna make a, di uh, I'm gonna make a triangle. So there's my triangle fold, nice and tight. Okay, so now I have a triangle. Notice again, this is not the one that's folded. If I open it up, you can see these two quadrants are folded. Now I'm just gonna fold it backwards, just again to make nice tight folds. Just go over those folds again, okay? Now it's time to fold it. And the way you do that, let me just fold it one more time this way. The way you do that is by taking these two quadrants that were folded, I'm just gonna again make nice tight folds. You're gonna take these two quadrants that were folded in your triangle. Now watch what I do. I lift these two corners. These are the folded ones, see? And you kind of just push down See how I push them in? And then I push down my cover, and then I just make it nice and tight. So let me show you that again. So you're gonna lift up the sides, and now these are the two quadrants that were folded into triangles. We're gonna just take these two edges, push down, hold, and just push down the top. So now, my, my what is the theme explosion book is completely folded, and the way you open it is like this. And when you close it, it's like this. And then you put glue on the back in order to glue it to your lap book. So again, I open it, and this will be the quadrant that's glued. So this quadrant won't move. And you close it. Open it and close it. Again, the easiest way to close it is by taking those two edges, lifting, pushing down with both of your thumbs and uh, pointer fingers, push down, hold, and push down the cover. And that's your explosion book. And then you can add glue to the back and adhere it to your lap book. I hope that helps.